Something wrong with your dinner? Everything tastes like cardboard right now. Well, I got some news that may bring back your appetite. I talked to my friend at the NPS. She can fast track your passport. I thought you'd be happy. Thank you, Meta, but it's not just a passport. My daughters are in trouble. My grandson is still missing and I, I can't let the monsters get him. My life is falling apart. And I'm doing everything I can to hold it together. Shh. We could figure it out. Together. It feels like I'm running away. If it helps, you're running towards safety. Think of it that way. And I just leave my daughters and Orson behind? The boy is still missing. Why do you have this? I was going to explain that to you. Now's as good as time as any. You have to understand that I'm only trying to help. The people in this town are suffering. They're going to the hospital and they're not getting better. They're dying, Meta. Did you... Did you do that? I'm not killing them. I'm freeing them. Freeing them? From what? From whatever it is that is happening to this town. Look around you. Don't you see something terrible happening out there? This looks very bad, Meta. I know what it looks like, and I'm telling you, I helped those people, Carl. I know you think you did. I did, Carl. They were in so much pain. They had no hope left. But does that give you the right to kill them? No matter how merciful you thought you were being. You have to believe me. What I believe makes no difference. The police are going to come after us one way or another. I was careful. The police will never figure it out. And even if they do, we will be long gone by then. That's why we have to leave now, before it's too late. Exactly the same. I haven't aged a day. Nils. Don't leave. Stay. Have a drink for old time's sake. Just friends, you know. What do you want? I want what every podcaster wants. The exclusive interview. A sit down with the new matriarch of the infamous Johansson family. My condolences, by the way. What would I possibly stand to gain from talking to you? You could give the world your side of the story. People love a tragic figure. Right. You talk with me, and next thing you know, maybe those investigations go away. Maybe someone hears about your son and has a lead. I've heard your interviews. What did you call that woman? Oh, yes. The baby killer of Bergen. Can't imagine what you'd call me. Look, I'm going to do a podcast about you and your missing son either way. I'm interested in the truth. But the truth is... relative. So whose story do you want the public to hear? Yours or mine? Can I get you two anything? I'm good. I was just going. But she could use a drink. Rachel Hernandez, you stand accused of crimes against the Foundation. This tribunal will decide your fate. What are the charges against her? She performed an unapproved ritual from our sacred writings. 
mutilating herself and desecrating the sanctuary of our foundation. And how did you come upon these writings? I searched the depths of the library. A serious charge. Would anyone else like to present evidence? When Xavier was incapacitated, Rachel supported me to lead in his absence. We've always had our differences, but she put them aside for the sake of the Foundation. Rachel's loyalty will be noted. Rachel, before this tribunal decides your fate, do you have anything to say in your behalf? I know there are members who have been looking for reasons to have me expelled. So let me save you the trouble. I'm leaving the Foundation. Careful, Rachel. What you say now cannot be unsaid. Go ahead and write it in one of your sacred texts. I no longer trust the Foundation or any of its leaders. I'm leaving the Foundation and you all. Rachel, no! Think about what you're doing. That's the problem. I have thought about it. Good luck. <laughs>